my cardinals down there? My window is filthy. I guess that means we need to clean it. There's the female. And there's the male. My bird feeder's right there. Although it's hanging dangerously close to the ground. I love watching the birds outside. Back over there we have another little guy. I can't see him very well. It's coming around the side there. That's one we've been trying to identify. I'm not really sure what he is. Don't know all my birds too well. Gotta look that one up. Anyway, it is, what is today? Today's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning, the day after my coffee pot broke. And I'm going to give making coffee in the percolator a try. So, I've already filled it up with some water. In this case, I used 12 cups of water. And from what I understand, I'm going to take this contraption, and put it down inside. Then I'm going to set this basket on top of it. And now I'm going to put the ground coffee in. You want to do it? Sure. Do it. Here, put it over here beside the coffee pot, beside the percolator so we don't spill a lot on the way. six of those. Now, one thing you want to make sure you don't do is get, you want to put it to the side. Don't put it right over the top of this or, wait a minute, that one's not all the way full. You want to have it more full. If you put it right over the top of this, then grounds are going to go right down to the bottom and we're going to have a mess. We'll have grounds in the coffee. Tricky, isn't it? There you go. Two. Hopefully I have enough brown coffee in there. Three. Here's the four. I need a six. Mm hmm. And four. Five. Hey, Mom. Just a minute, please. Six. That was five. All right. Now you're getting ready for six. to do basically an extra scoop because not all of those were full. <laughs> I know it's hard to get it all out of there because it's about empty. I have to grind some more. That's it. Now it's empty. A wheel. Just about. Yep, I need to grind some more. Thank you, Amelia. You're welcome. All right. Do you want, so what now do you want this to just go we put this. this you can just on. put it back in there. 
Yep, we're gonna put that on the top. And then we're gonna put the lid on. Right. Yep. Okay. Also. And then we're gonna stick it on the burner. Let's put it on the back burner. Hey, Mom. Okay. Turn it on. All right, it's lit, and now we're just gonna let it. We're gonna wait for it to low. boil, and then from what I understand, you're gonna let it. Once we start seeing it um, bubbling up there, we're gonna let it boil for probably 10 to 15 minutes. That takes forever. All right, let's hope this works because I want coffee. Uh, yeah, I want coffee, as Isaac says, and um, I might not drink hot coffee. But I might. Some days I do. Um, but I definitely want to have some cooling down and going in the fridge so I can have some later today or tomorrow. Thanks for your help, Dominic. You're welcome. It's boiling. It's brown. It smells like coffee. So I'm going to assume that it's made. I had to run out on an errand that took me about 50 minutes. And it wasn't boiling when I left, so it's probably pretty strong by now. But that's okay, because I can always water it down a little bit if I need to. Should I turn it off? Yes, turn it off. As I've said uh, recently, we haven't been milking our cow for over a year now. It's not been a lot of fun not having our milk. But... It was a decision we needed to make a year ago when we were dealing with um, starting our kitchen demolition and all of that. Needless to say, though, we had a calf, uh, oh, I'm sorry, we had a bull calf that had been in the pasture with all of our cows, um, including our milk cow, um, for over a year. Well, we got him over a year ago. And we had thought that our milk cow, Bambi, was probably exposed. Well, we knew she had been exposed to him. She had been in the pasture with him, he in the pasture with her. And we were very hopeful that he had bred her. However, he wasn't a very big calf. And I'm, she is fairly tall, especially because he was a, an American milking Devon, which is a shorter stature of cow, and she being a Guernsey does definitely make her taller. Needless to say, we haven't had any uh, calves born from any of our cows since they were exposed to him, which doesn't mean that none of them are bred. We haven't had any of them tested. But Baby was the last one exposed to him, and we returned him to his owner, and I'm we have seen signs of heat in her multiple times since we returned him, so therefore we are relatively sure she is not bred. Needless to say, we're saying all this leading up to, we decided the other day to put her in the barnyard with the two bulls that we have. Uh, one of those bulls being her son, half American Milky Duffin and half Guernsey. Um, and we're hoping that she will be bred by him and that we will be able to, nine months or so from now, get some milk again. So here in the garden, standing right in front of me, that is Bambi, our Guernsey milk cow on the right. Beside her is, I believe that is her daughter, Jasmine, who, um, was her calf when we began um, milking Bambi last October. And behind Jasmine is her, uh, is again Bambi's son Thor, who is a bull. Um, we also have, this is Loki. He's also a bull, um, about the same age as Thor, but um, not growing as quickly and of course he is he's 100% American Milking Devon but we've been fairly confident that uh, Thor 
is the dominant bull. We did not get either Thor or Loki uh, steered, um, only just because we, it was one of those things we didn't get to, which is why they are in the barnyard. Thor, we are planning to uh, put him in the freezer in the next couple of months. Loki, uh, he will probably be next year's beef cow. Hopefully, we'll be able to get him fattened up and everything once um, Thor's gone because Thor won't be beating up on him as much. Your baby's still licking Jasmine. So, maybe I'm wrong, but it's like she still knows Jasmine's her daughter. She's still taking care of her. Jasmine is one that we are hoping to halter train and uh, train her to be a milk cow so that maybe, just maybe, we will have bred, born, and raised our own milk cow here one day. Um, that would be at least a year down the road. But um, Jasmine's a sweet cow. She's more of a teenager these days, so everybody knows what that means. You know, she can definitely be a little more on the emotional side and the feisty side. But Amelia would really like to get out and start dealing with the cows. Um, maybe train them to a halter or something. And um, I'm going to let her work with Bambi on that first. Because Bambi's already halter trained. And, um, and then eventually move to working with Jasmine. Later that day, here is the Azure Standard truck pulling up to deliver our Azure Standard order. We're going to be unloading the truck and going home. Well, we don't typically have to do these Azure drops in the dark, but there were a lot of extenuating circumstances this time around. The poor uh, delivery driver had um, a breakdown, had mechanical issues with his vehicle, all of that. So, um... He was due at 6.15, and it's now 6.30, and we are completely done, and everybody's leaving. Um, I think he got here a little early. Maybe he got here at 6, so that may have taken us 30 minutes. But really, these things are usually so well organized that it takes no time at all. Give it a try. Check out my link below, um, or in the description, and give Azure a try. I've really enjoyed all of their products.